The list is out, people. Seven suspects. But I can assure you, I am not one of them. I think. Welcome to part 2 of Who is Red John? I want to do two things before I start this video. First, thank every single one of you that left a comment on my review for The Mentalist uh, season finale. It meant a great deal. I had a great time reading your thoughts. The other thing I want to do is tell you a little bit more about what this video is going to be about. We're going to do a speculation video where we're going to think about who is Red John based on the list. But before I do that, I want to sort of clarify a few things based on what we've learned since the finale. First up, Bruno Heller, the creator of the series, actually had an interview where he confirmed some of the things that we were thinking. One, the list is legit. It is actually a list with real suspects and he guarantees that Red John is part of that list. I'll actually use my trusty little phone and quote exactly what he says. Your cards are up on the table and they're the real cards. There's no sort of double twist. There's no messing about. We've been through all the twists and turns of the plot and we're not getting to the truth. Only the truth gets revealed from now on in. Hmm? And regarding the list, he then adds, some will be obscure, some will be very well known, but they're all legitimate suspects. And next season, we'll work out which one is the real guy. So. There's one of them who's a real guy. We're just gonna have to figure it out. I have thoughts. We're not there yet. Heller concludes by saying, this is the final chase. We will know who Red John is and we will catch him next season. Everything that has happened over the past five years will come to a head and things will change drastically. This is the biggest finale in terms of game changing and setting up for the last act of the Red John saga. This is as definitive and revolutionary as you can get. I agree with you, Bruno. Revolutionary and definitive are two things that we're really looking forward to. So now on to the list of suspects, which we'll just, you know, go through again and make sure that everyone knows who's who. We have Brett Stiles, played by Malcolm McDowell, who's the leader of Visualize. Uh, Gail Bertram, who's played by Michael Gaston, who is the director of the CBI. We have Bob Kirkland, played by Kevin Corrigan, you know, the homeland security guy who's broke into Patrick's place. And we have Ray Hafner played by Reed Diamond, the CBI agent and visualized member who was also Jane's boss briefly uh, at the beginning of season four. And we also have Reed Smith played by Drew Powell. He's an FBI agent. And we have Thomas McAllister who's played by Xander Berkeley. He was actually uh, appeared in the second episode of the series and helped you know, Jane solve a murder. And finally, we have everyone's favorite, Brett Partridge, played by Jack Plotnick, a forensic analyst for the CBI. So, you know what? Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna go through some of these names and I'm gonna highlight a few of your comments about what you thought of each of these individual uh, possibilities. So, here we go. Before I start, guys, I wanna first apologize because I'm absolutely gonna butcher your names. Guarantee, for sure, gonna butcher your names. It's not because I'm not trying, it's because I'm just not good at reading names, so I apologize in advance. Let's start with Brett Stiles. A lot of you were not really convinced about Brett Stiles, and I think primarily it's because he's too old. For example, Sophia Smith says, I think Red John is not Brett Stiles. He's too old and no longer has the power to kill people. Johnny Burham, always concise, says, I think Brett Stiles is Red John. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's short. Let's move on to Gail Bertram. And all these folks were just agreeing, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely. Gail Bertram all around. You know what? Maybe. Maybe it's him, maybe it's not, but others don't necessarily agree. Ali says, well, Bertram doesn't have the physical profile at all. He's bald, RJ has short hair, and uh, he's taller than six feet. Let's move on to Raymond Hafner. A lot of you were like, yeah, that could be it. He has the CBI knowledge, he has the resources from Visual Eye, he's old enough, he's smart enough, I think it's him, says Ninja644. Eh, maybe. Alia Pina? I'm so sorry, that's not how you say the name. Wicked episode, I put my money on Hafner. He's in Visualize. He was probably in the Ellis Farm. He has access to different types of information. So, 
It's very possible, yeah, absolutely. A lot of you were very skeptical about Reed Smith. You don't think it's him, but some of you did. For example, Lath of Faith says, I think it's Reed Smith. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Another person says, it's Reed Smith because to me, he seems the least likely and we know to expect the unexpected from the mentalist. That's not a bad one. It's not a bad one at all. Now to our friend, Bob Kirkland. <laughs> wow, a lot of you have some strong thoughts about Bob. Uh, yeah, Bob is um, on the top of a lot of your lists. So as you can see, maybe, maybe it's Bob. You know, like Amanda Jesse says, Kirkland, I know it's obvious, but no one else makes sense. In my brain, at least. I'm with you. In my brain as well. It's very complicated up there. Separate conversation. Now let's move on to Tom McAllister. Not a lot of you were, you know, thinking it was him, but some of you were. Jamil the girl says, Tom McAllister, because he's the least connected and the others are too obvious. And Florizab1 adds, it's Sheriff McAllister always thought he looked creepy. Yeah, creepiness might be a factor. You never know. Moving on to Brett Partridge. Holy crap, a lot of you thought it was Brett Partridge. A lot of you think that it's Brett Partridge. As Queen Sox says, I picked Partridge as RJ. He was there from the start. It's very possible. A lot of you just seem to think that it's him. So that's it for the list, guys. That's what you guys all thought, and I... Cannot agree more. It's a bit confusing. Uh, definitely a few favorites out there. Brett Partridge is one of them. Barb Kirkland is another one. Brett Styles, maybe Raymond Hafter is a strong contender as well. Let's move on to what yours truly thinks. Who is Red John in the list? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew. I'm not that smart. I don't see details very well. So it's very hard for me to determine who Red John is based on the list and based on everything I know. But I will say this, I know who I want it to be. And I know it's going to be strange for a lot of you, but I want it to be Sheriff Tom McAllister, played by Xander Berkeley. And the reason I want that is solely based on the fact that Xander Berkeley is an amazing actor. And he's particularly amazing in this series that's on Hulu called The Booth at the End. If you haven't seen it, you absolutely have to go watch it. It's very quick, it's very short, and it's by far one of the best series I've seen in a very long time. It's highly enjoyable, there are two seasons, you just burn through them, it's one of the best shows you'll see. Based on that alone, I want him to be Red John because it would just be fantastic. Heck, even if it's not him, I'm looking forward to seeing him in the upcoming season. Because since he's on the list, I can only assume they're going to have an episode where, you know, they're at least going to address maybe it's him for X, Y reason. Now, I know he doesn't fit the look of Red John with the hair and the height and the baldness. I don't care. I just want it to be him because he'd be so awesome. He's such a good actor, guys. It would make for such a fantastic season if he was Red John. So guys, that's what I thought of this whole list situation and what Heller had to say. But you know what? Let me turn it back to you. What do you think? Based on all these theories and all these thoughts and all these comments, comment below, let me know. And as usual, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, that thumbs up, hit it, hit it, hit it. And finally, if you have not subscribed to this channel, you need to fix it right now. Hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of more stuff coming up, including summer reviews of older Mentalist episodes. Gonna be some exciting stuff. Stay tuned. Another video coming very shortly. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Until next time, bye. So guys, as I mentioned, I'm working on that list of 10 episodes that I'm gonna review this summer. I already have three. Hmm? And I'm gonna leave the other seven to you. Stay tuned for more details and uh, hope to talk to you then.